lot of Liverpool fans, and I can get it just saying it's a blip this season, and it might be, but I think the worrying thing is it's, it, 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 these results have been consistently average all season. You know, you look at two Brighton defeats, <clears throat> some of the level even the games against Wolves you know they've, they've not really been anything like the standards particularly of last year the pro- one of the problems they've got is Laura that they're, gonna f- they're finding it nearly impossible to to have the same consistency as they had last year which was, which is understandable because mm. last year was, was a phenomenal season it was fantastic so it was always going to be difficult to, to, to you know do that again if you like and they're having a struggle but I stand by it you know I think one of the biggest problems that Liverpool have at the moment is it might sound crazy it's not just one problem you know I think they've got problems defensively I don't think the blend's right in the middle of the park up front they've got one or two injuries but they're just not hitting it off and, I, and I'll mention Salah again Salah is a fantastic player one of the best players in the last 10, 15, 20 years we've seen but again maybe understandably he's not reaching the heights that he reached last year which were amazing Amazing they were. So, they are having a struggle this year. I don't think they, they can They can still make, as I mentioned earlier, they won the two games in the under point behind Spurs. They can still make the top four, but in current form, I, I, I don't think they'll do it. OK, let's go to the phone lines. David is a Spurs <coughs> fan. Good morning to you, David. Morning, David. Good Good morning to you both. <coughs> morning. Um, there's a few points here to digest, and I uh, totally agree with Ali. I think, if you go back to the Fergie era, it used to improve, no, no matter what they achieved, he would improve the side. I'm not blaming Klopp or anything like that. I'm saying he'd improve the side. When they first won the league, he goes out and gets Roy Keane. He'd done it again with Van Persie, and he'd done it on a number of occasions, and he kept improving. It's all well, it's the old sand, isn't it? It's all well and good getting there. It's staying there. And I think what's happened is, yes, they did have a good year last year, but they won two cups on penalties, and they haven't improved. They, Marnie's left the club. Mm-hmm. They haven't really replaced him. OK, Nunes has come in, and he's a potential. Who else has really come in? And not just that, there's question marks about all the play. Like Ali just said, the defence. If you look round all over the park in midfield, you've got Thiago, great player, getting a little bit on, a little bit leggy. Henderson. I think what's happening is they're getting a little bit found out now. Teams know. See, what used to happen is they used to press so much in midfield that that would release the likes of Trent, and it would release Robertson. Now, because they can't do that so much, they're getting exposed. And what's happening is they're getting found out. Salah's off the pace. And I just think that they need a massive revamp. I think they need some creativity in midfield. They need a number of, a number of players. They look a little bit stale, a little bit over the top. As, as good as Henderson is, he's getting on a bit. Can he play a full season? Injuries, stuff like that. They are getting a lot of injuries. If you look at Man City, they always, every year, they're improving the team. And I think what's happened is Liverpool have gone backwards here. After last year, all of a sudden, and I think they're getting found out. I, I agree with part of your points, David. I think I think they have invested a bit. I think Gakpo, Nunes, I think midfield they are lacking on and maybe that's kind of helping them or not helping they, them, hindering world, them are defensively. Really, are these really top players, though? What, are these Gakpo really top, and... Top? Well, Gakpo, Nunes? Does that, is, okay, do you think, do you think at, they're bad okay. players? Um, I'm not saying they're bad players, but I'm saying in terms of actually improving from... So they lost Marnie. <laughs> Would you, would, you, would you have Marnie ahead of Gabco? Would you have Marnie ahead of Nunes? Yeah, every day I would. Week? I would. So they've not improved that. And I'll give you another example. If you look at Gabco and you look at Nunes, potentially, and they could well end up being great players, neither one of them would get in Manchester City's side or squad, potentially. They'd be, but, they'd be squad players. Yeah, they I... They certainly wouldn't get in. Yeah, you know? I agree. I agree with that, Dave. But I think, I think last season's a difficult one to say they lost on penalties or sorry they won on penalties in those two cup competitions they also were just behind Man City in the league and they also made the Champions League final yes. so this is a team that they're not they're not lucky to oh, get no. there yeah. no I didn't say lucky I said that they'd done very well but the actual two cups they won were on penalties and it's a little bit sort of they've gone from you know if you look at it they've gone from the total extreme in the space, and I think that the squad's got a bit older. It needed a revamp. Someone like Bellingham would have been fantastic. Well, he have been, he's like another Gerard. He would have been marvellous at the club. They need some life in midfield. They've got no creativity in midfield. They've got no one who scores goals and takes people on. 
You know, they don't look great in midfield. So Salah all of a sudden, I know he's not the same player since his contract. However, um, he's not, you know, there doesn't seem to be a lot happening. No one's really stepping up. All right, David. Thank you Thanks, very much David. for your call. Just a few points by David, the Spurs fan I enjoyed there. that, by the way. I enjoyed that call. I enjoyed it as well. I think I think judging Gakpo and Nunes right now no, is, of course, is, is of a course. bit harsh. And the fact of the matter is, you could argue Sadio Mane was almost, almost irreplaceable, mm. right? You, you, you're never going to get like for like. But I do, t- I, I do take his point. I mean, was there a better player out there to sign after you lost him? Probably not in, in that position. So you've gone for a, you know, a, a, a different type of player in Gakpo and, and Nunes and, and clearly... It's far too early to start judging those two boys. I also just think you can't forget how close they were to to achieving oh, something incredible last season. Bordering on immortality that, uh, mm. that last season. Let's go to Anthony, the Liverpool fan. Good morning, Anthony. Morning, Anthony. Morning, Laura. Morning, Ali. Um, yeah, listen to the last guy. A few points I agree with. But Ali, one thing I think... Well, there's a few points I want to make. But there was one part in the commentary that you said when Alisson punched the ball. And even you said, why is the keeper not catching the ball? Yeah. And I think that sets that there's been like a drop in confidence. Players just don't seem to be as on it as they've been previously. Alisson has also, not just picking Alisson out, but, you know, yeah. Trent's been off it as well. But Alisson has also in a few games, you know, made some dodgy uh, kicks out, you know, and, and putting himself under pressure, you know, giving the ball to players when players are on him. Okay, that didn't happen yesterday, but just giving context for what I think has gone wrong in the season. And then another thing is that Klopp brings on Darwin and sticks him on the left. Why are we sticking our centre forward on the left and persisting with Cody, who, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, filled in for the Netherlands up front, but that's not his position. That's not what we bought him for. Why did we scout him and see him playing for PSV? And now, yeah, we've used him, you know, to, to, uh, for a time, but that's not we to bring the centre forward on, but why stick him on the left? Mm. It's a good point. It's a good point. And I take your point as well, Anthony, with, with, with Alisson. I mean, that's one incident where he, he should come out and caught it. But I, I also don't think, I, I threw the whole team. Van Dyke's not been the same player. I looked yesterday and I didn't see the fullbacks get forward as much as he would normally do. Trent in the right and Robbo in the left. They're normally flying up and down there. I don't know whether they've, they've been told to curtail it a little bit, but they just don't look. You can name seven or eight players, the point, Laura. Seven or eight players in that Liverpool team, <clears throat> excuse me, that do not look the same. I mean, I don't know if I'm still on. I, I tweet under an, an, an uh, anonymous handle just because I can't be bothered with, you know, backlash. You say something about Mo Salah and you get all of the, you know, Salah praises saying, you can't say nothing about Mo Salah. Yeah. Mo Salah, you know, yeah, he, he, he played in Harvey for the goal, but Mo has been not interested in pressing, defending. He, he's... And I don't know if it's to do with when players sign contracts, whether that's just coincidence. But, you know, and, and I, I last went to uh, watch Liverpool last season. I got three tickets last season, uh, February and, and March. So mm. even when I've gone and seen them live and I speak to friends who, who go regularly and they say exactly the same thing. You don't see everything on the TV, but what you are saying about Mo and what you're saying about, yeah, we see it. And we're constantly like, well, what's changed? What's going on here? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I agree with you, Mane, you know, we are missing Mane, but... At the end of the day, like I say, the players that we have brought in, mm. you know, Darwin and and, and and obviously we're missing Luis Diaz. You know, if, if he was yes. flying like he was, you know, well, who knows what we'd be doing yeah. this season. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.